Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is 7 power of cos square x plus 7 power of sin square x is equal to 8. To find the values of x from this equation. Now, in the first step, we will multiply in both sides by this 7 power of sin square x. So, from this side, which is 7 power of cos square x, then plus 7 power of sine square x into this side will multiply by this or this which is 7 power of sine square x then is equal to 8 then times also in this side we multiply by 7 power of sine square x then we'll open the bracket by multiply by this 7 power of sine square x so to be this times this so here it will be 7 power of sine square x times 7 power of cos square x then plus this times this. So it will be 7 power of sine square x times 7 power of sine square x is equal to this which is 8 times 7 power of sine square x. Then in the next step, from here, 7 power of sine square x times 7 power of cos square x will apply exponential rule, which is a power of m times a power of n is equal to a power of m plus n. So into here it will be 7 power of sine square x plus cos square x. So here, sine square x plus cos square x then plus 7 power of this sine square x plus sine square x so here it will be sine square x plus sine square x is equal to 8 times 7 power of sine square x then in the next step from this part here sine square x plus cos square x will apply trigonometric rule which is sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. So into here it will be 7 power of 1, 7 power of 1, then plus 7 power of sine square x plus sine square x, it is 2 sine square x is equal to 8 times 7 power of sine square x then in the next step from here here it is in the form you can see this power of 2 power of 2 sine square x so it is in the form of exponential rule which is a power of 2 n is equal to we we'll make in the form of a power of n then bracket this power of 2 outside the bracket so it will be 7 power of 1, it is 7, then plus 7 power of this sine square x inside the bracket. So 7 power of sine square x inside the bracket, then this power of 2 outside the bracket is equal to 8 times 7 power of sine square x. Then in the next step, from here 7 power of sine square x, 7 power of sine square x is common. So we we'll let let's say y is equal to seven power of sine square x. Then it will be seven plus this is y it will be plus y square seven plus y square is equal to eight then times this which is y so eight y. Then in the next step we'll take this 8y to the left side. So we start by this which is y square. This will take to this side so minus 8y then plus this 7 is equal to 0. Then from here it will be y square. This here we will solve by grouping and factorization. So from this constant which is 7 we know that the product is, is equal to 7 and sum is equal to coefficient of y it is this negative 8 now our factors to get the product of, of 7 it is the 
product of negative 7 times negative 1. This is a factor. And to get the sum of negative 8 is the sum of negative 7 plus negative 1. So use negative 7 and negative 1. Then from this here, this quadratic equation, it will be y square, which is this. Then this negative 8y will split. Negative 8y is same as negative 7y. Then negative 1y, which is negative y. Because negative 7y, negative y is negative 8y. Then plus this 7 is equal to 0. Then from here, y is common. So we'll take y out of bracket. y squared divided by y, it is y. Minus 7y divided by y is minus 7 bracket. Then from here, we'll take negative 1 out of bracket. Negative y divided by negative 1, it is y. 7 divided by negative 1 is negative 7, bracket is equal to 0. Then from here, y minus 7 is common. So we'll take y minus 7, bracket out of bracket. This here divided by y minus 7, it is y. This here divided by y minus 7, it is this negative 1, bracket is equal to 0. Then in the next step, from here, we have two solutions. So we have this solution, which is y minus 7 is equal to 0. So here y minus 7 is equal to 0. And the other solution is this y minus 1 is equal to 0. So from here, it will be y is equal to, we we'll take negative 7 to this side, so it will be y is equal to 7. And here we we'll take negative 1 to this side, so it will be y is equal to 1. Then from here we we'll recall. So we recall before we let y is equal to this. Before we let y, it is 7 power of sine square x. So from y, which is 7 power of sine square x. Then we we'll compare this to equations. So it will be this is equal to this. So 7 power of sine square x is equal to this 7. And also in here, y is equal to 7 power of sine square x. Then we'll compare these two equations. So it will be this, which is 7 power of sine square x is equal to this 1. Then from here, 7 is same as 7 power of 1. Now here we have same base, so we'll compare these powers. So it will be sine square x is equal to 1. Then from here, we'll apply square root in both sides. So this square root will cancel square, then it will be sine x is equal to square root of 1 is plus or minus 1. And from this side here, 7 power of sine square x is equal to 1. We make to have same base. So it will be 7 power of sine square x is equal to 1 to have base like 7. 1 is same as 7 power of 0. Now here we have same base, so we'll compare these powers. So it will be this, which is sine square x is equal to 0. Then from here we'll apply square root in both sides. So this square root will cancel square, then it will be sine x is equal to square root of 0, it is 0. Then in the next step, from this first solution here, we have sine sin x is equal to plus or minus 1. So here we have sin x is equal to when it is positive 1. And we have sin x is equal to here when it is negative 1. Then in the next step, from here, to from sin x is equal to 1, what is x? We know that sin of sin of 90, which whereas 90 is pi over 2, because pi is 180 divided by 2 is 90, is equal to 1. And also, from here, sine x is equal to negative 1. You know that sine of negative 90, which is, so you have to be negative of pi over 2. Negative of pi over 2 is equal to this negative 1. So when you compare here, x is equal to this so here we have x is equal to this pi over 2. And here when we compare x with this here, it will be x is equal to 
negative pi over 2. But we are not given the limit, so we'll have constant. So it will be x is equal to pi over 2. Then here plus after every 180 degree, so it will be 2k pi. So this plus, so like 90 plus 180 degree will get this one. And also 90 plus we'll just multiply here k is one two three it can be and so on and also in here so we have this one of the solution for x and here it will be x is equal to we are not given the limit so it will be negative 90 over 2 then plus constant which is 2 k pi so this is the other solution and then the other solution from here, this here, sine x is equal to 0. Now, from, from, from here to get 0, what is x? It, from sine of pi, sine of pi, which is 180, is equal to 0. So when you compare x with pi, here to be x is equal to pi. But we are not given the limit, so to be x is equal to pi, then plus constant, which is 2 k pi so pi is 180 degree so after every 180 degree the value of sine x is zero so this is the other solution thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye